Illinois CDL Passenger Vehicles Test. Question 1. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 4. 0. 8. 6. Answer. 8. Question 2. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 3. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50 25 20 15 Answer 15 Question 4. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 5. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Have the rider pay a second fare. Not allow them to do it. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 6. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 7. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Answer You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 8. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 9. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. 
before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 10. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 500 pounds 100 pounds 250 pounds 300 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 11 you must not allow rider to stand within two feet of an emergency exit between the wheel wells in front of the standee line within two feet of any window answer in front of the standee line question 12 you must not allow rider to stand within two feet of any window within two feet of an emergency exit in front of the standee line between the wheel wells answer in front of the standee line question 13 Never refuel your bus. In a closed building with passengers on board. With a higher grade of fuel. With any of the windows open. Without a static chain. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 14. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is The next stop As safe as possible, or the next stop Off the regular route Dark and poorly lighted Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop Question 15. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Accident reports will be accurate. You can help impair drivers. Answer you will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 16. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only on the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 17. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 18. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, 
may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Buy another bus with its four-way flashers on. Buy a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Answer If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 19. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 4 6 0 8 Answer 8 Question 20. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Any rider can use all exits. The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer all of the above. Question 21. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 10 yards. 100 feet. 5 feet. 50 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 22. You must not allow rider to stand between the wheel wells in front of the standee line within two feet of an emergency exit within two feet of any window. Answer In front of the standee line Question 23. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 4 8 6 0 Answer 0 Question 24. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If the distance is less than 500 yards. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 25. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Emergency hospital supplies. Tear gas. Answer. Tear gas. Question 26. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Not allow them to do it. Have the rider pay a second fare. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Answer Not allow them to do it. Question 27. You must not allow rider to stand. Within two feet of an emergency exit. 
within two feet of any window. Between the wheel wells. In front of the standee line. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 28. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is dark and poorly lighted, as safe as possible, or the next stop. The next stop off the regular route. Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 29. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only on the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Anywhere except the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 30. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 31. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is as safe as possible, or the next stop dark and poorly lighted. The next stop off the regular route. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 32. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 500 pounds 300 pounds 250 pounds 100 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 33 when is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if required by company policy. Always. Answer. Always. Question 34. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 15 20 25 50 Answer 15 Question 35. Never refuel your bus. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. In a closed building with passengers on board. With a higher grade of fuel. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 36. If the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Not allow them to do it. Have the rider pay a second fare. 
answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 37. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 38 Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 39 Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency hospital supplies, emergency drug shipments, small arms ammunition, ORMT, tear gas. Answer Tear gas. Question 40 Never refuel your bus with any of the windows open. Without a static chain. In a closed building with passengers on board. With a higher grade of fuel. Answer In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 41 When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that. Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 42 When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is off the regular route as safe as possible, or the next stop. Dark and poorly lighted. The next stop. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 43. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 44 If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Have the rider pay a second fare. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. 
not allow them to do it. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 45. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 46. Never refuel your bus. In a closed building with passengers on board. With any of the windows open. With a higher grade of fuel. Without a static chain. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 47. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds 500 pounds 250 pounds 100 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 48 you must not allow rider to stand within two feet of an emergency exit, within two feet of any window, between the wheel wells, in front of the standee line. Answer In front of the standee line. Question 49. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Not allow them to do it. Have the rider pay a second fare. Answer Not allow them to do it. Question 50. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 51. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is Off the regular route As safe as possible, or the next stop Dark and poorly lighted The next stop Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop Question 52. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Buy another bus with its four-way flashers on. Buy a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 53. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if required by company policy. Always. 
Answer. Always. Question 54. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Buy another bus with its four-way flashers on. If the distance is less than 500 yards. Buy a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 55. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if required by company policy. Always. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Answer. Always. Question 56. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 8 0 4 6 Answer 8 Question 57. Never refuel your bus. With any of the windows open. Without a static chain. In a closed building with passengers on board. With a higher grade of fuel. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 58. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 100 feet. 5 feet. 10 yards. 50 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 59. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 8 0 6 4 Answer 0 Question 60. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is The next stop Dark and poorly lighted Off the regular route As safe as possible, or the next stop Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop Question 61 you must not allow rider to stand between the wheel wells within two feet of any window in front of the standee line within two feet of an emergency exit answer in front of the standee line question 62 how many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 8 6 0 4 Answer 0 Question 63. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. With any of the windows open. In a closed building with passengers on board. Without a static chain. Answer. 
in a closed building with passengers on board. Question 64. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 65. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 4 6 0 8 Answer. 8 Question 66. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Accident reports will be accurate. You can help impair drivers. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 67. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50 25 15 20 Answer. 15. Question 68. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Always. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only if required by company policy. Answer. Always. Question 69. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 70. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 6. 8. 0. Four. Answer. Zero. Question 71. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 100 pounds. 500 pounds 300 pounds 250 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 72 You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds 250 pounds 100 pounds 500 pounds Answer 
500 pounds. Question 73. If the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should have the rider pay a second fare. Not allow them to do it. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Answer Not allow them to do it. Question 74. You must not allow rider to stand within two feet of any window in front of the standee line within two feet of an emergency exit between the wheel wells answer in front of the standee line question 75 how many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 6 0 8 4 Answer 0 Question 76. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. On any or all of the wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only on the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 77. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? After completing the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. Right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 78. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Emergency exit handles are secure. Every handhold and railing is secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 79. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You can help impair drivers. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 80. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Only on the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 81. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. Always have a red door light turned on. Be secured when the bus is being driven. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 82. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. 
by a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Buy another bus with its four-way flashers on. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. If the distance is less than 500 yards. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 83. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Always. Only if required by company policy. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Answer. Always. Question 84. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Not allow them to do it. Have the rider pay a second fare. Answer Not allow them to do it. Question 85. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. Any rider can use all exits. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 86. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. Always have a red door light turned on. Be secured when the bus is being driven. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 87. Never refuel your bus. With any of the windows open. In a closed building with passengers on board. Without a static chain. With a higher grade of fuel. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 88. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is As safe as possible, or the next stop The next stop Dark and poorly lighted Off the regular route Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop Question 89. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. On any or all of the wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only on the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.